Welcome back, everyone, into Good Day Charlotte. Fox 46 working to get results for a local nonprofit, making a difference for kids here in our community. A child's place fights to erase the effects homelessness can have on kids and their education. And uh, joining us today to talk about it is Shantiqua Neely, the executive director of A Child's Place. Welcome into the show and welcome to A Child's Place. You Thank were just telling you. me you've only been there uh, about a month, so yeah. I know this is new for you as well. <laughs> Clearly, you have a passion Absolutely. for those that are in need here in Charlotte. So, what have you, even in 30 days, mm -hmm. what have you noticed um, as far as being able to help these kids in their situation? There's a great need. Um, there's a great need, and also the need is very complex. Mm -hmm. But we have great partnerships on board. Um, thank you for all that you have done um, this week it, for it's our been organization. It's been a fun week. It really has been a fun week. I'm not going to lie. Everyone at the station, from stuffing backpacks to delivering those yesterday, we've, re we've really enjoyed it. We appreciate it. And it takes that community effort to really dig in deep, to really help our families overcome that homeless crisis. And so that's what we're doing every day. We're trying to stabilize that student and the family, because we have a two-generational approach, stabilize them through the homeless crisis. Uh, there's some video there of, uh, of our employees here, part of our 21st Century um, in, uh, Fox Impact Week that we've been having all week long. And I got a chance to come out to your place. Oh, look, there we go, right there. And I missed you by like five minutes, I'm told. You were coming in as we were leaving. But I, I was amazed walking through there, uh, Shantiqua, that when I went into one of the closets that had toiletries and, and shampoo and toothpaste, things that we take for granted, Absolutely. they were saying that a lot of kids just are fearful and shy to go to school because they don't have those things. Absolutely. They don't have a haircut like other kids. Kids. They don't have the clothes to look like other kids, and they just they don't go or they can't go to school, and that broke my heart. And I, and I didn't realize that that I mean that that's a situation that daily kids face. Absolutely. So if you think about it, our families are moving from couch to couch, family relatives, or either from one shelter to the next, or from a hotel to the next, and so they have to just grab what they can grab and move on to the next destination. So they lose a lot of their valuables. So that's where we step in to mitigate and help with those basic needs that, uh, like you said, a lot of the things that we take for granted. Well, again, it's, uh, we've enjoyed uh, partnering with you guys this week, and this thank is not going to be the last you've heard of us. Well, We're going to continue you. to help out and volunteer, and we hope that you do the same thing with a child's place here in Charlotte. All right, 728, we're going to take a break. Look at the beautiful sunrise in the QC, guys. We will be back.